what is going on YouTube it's your boy Spanko and get ready because we're doing another locals vlog day but not just any locals this time we're going to the dimension force defo sneak peek event and in today's video I actually had you guys pick what deck I play for the event now as of the moment right now when I'm filming this these are the results yeah it's like tied neck and neck but I brought both decks with me. So what I'm going to do is we're going to head in there. We're going to get one of the guys to pick one of the random decks for me. It's legit 50-50 at the moment that I'm filming this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there. Literally going to have one of the guys pick at random which one. And then I'm going to tell you guys which one it is. And that's what we're playing for today's event. But if you guys do enjoy these vlogs, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content and the vlog content. If you guys are enjoying it, let me know in the comment section down below as well. Now I'm excited because we could be either playing the best deck of the format, in my opinion, which is tri-branded. Or we could be playing the Spanko Spicy Dino DNA deck that I wanted to play. I put it together. I have it all ready. We're also going to get some uh, feature match footage over here. So it's going to be a fun day for us. And once we get inside, actually, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to show you guys once we get inside. All right. So we're inside our locals. We just paid for uh, the sneak peek. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. So first of all, Sam's here today, which is really nice. You guys have, they haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, no, because I don't live here anymore. Yeah, but he's coming back for the sneak peek. But it's really special that he's here because you see that really big box. I, I did not expect it to be that big, but it's going to be an exciting opening. So we're going to be opening that up for you guys. Hi, Jordan. So we're going to be opening that up and it's going to be really fun. And uh, so we're going to film that right now. If you guys have any guesses, let me know in the comment section down below. All right, Sam, listen, I have a question. I asked my YouTube poll what deck I should play and I gave him two options. At the moment that I started recording this vlog, it was 50-50. Okay. So I was like, you know what? I'm determined to let someone else pick the deck for me today. Mm -hmm. So Sam, you're going to do the honors. I'm not going to tell you what's in what. I'm not going to tell you which deck is which. I just need you to pick one of the deck boxes. And even though this one's nicer, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a nicer deck in here. It was just what I was playing last time. Sure. Okay. All right. So completely up to you. So that means this one's tri-branded. Oh, did you watch my last vlog? I watch your videos. Oh, I do. okay. So this is tri branded. Yeah. This is something else. Yeah, yeah. I want to see what the other thing is. Oh, I already the know what this does. Reveal. Oh. Also, Sam wants me to play this because he doesn't want to lose. So just flip to the first card of the main deck. Oh boy, Shadal Window. It's a fun deck, isn't it? Kaijus. Oh, I know what this is. All right, let's get to the front card. Skip the skip the extra deck. Skip the extra deck. Follow oh. Elbaz. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not Elbaz. It's not Despia. It's not Despia. It's not Next card. Fossil Dig. It's Dino. Ah. We're playing Dino today, I guess. Dino branded. I really was hoping we played Try. <laughs> Dino it is. All right, so we got our pre-release kit, six packs. We got this nice field center too. I kind of like this. All right. Last sneak peek, we pulled the DPE, which was the best card in the set. This one, I really want the Theory on Regulus. Theory on Regulus. Theory on Regulus. Theory on Regulus. No, Liberance are super rare. All right, let's next go into next pack. Let's go into next pack. Let's go into next pack. We should be getting a secret rare. We should be. Ooh, ultra rare predator plant. Nice. Hold an ultra. Ooh, I actually want. I want to get. I want to play these cards. So this is good. All right, next pack over here. We got Ichirakus, Therion, Warrock, Regulus. Oh no, the Scareclaw. No, bad ultras. Bad ultras. We got three more packs. All right. So yeah, we got three more packs, including this one. That's Liberal Mancer. All right, super rare. Okay, two more packs. Do we have a chance? Do we have a shot at a Seeker rare? Hopefully we have a shot at a Seeker rare. We have six packs, so if it's, if it's just half a box, then we should get a Seeker rare. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I missed a card, but Odd Eyes Wing Dragon. Cool. Synchro. And then, lastly. Lastly, last pack. Last pack magic. Let's hit the Seeker rare. Let's hit the Seeker rare. Let's hit. Let's hit. It's a, it's it's the last card, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and oh yes, yes, that's what, what? I needed. That's what I wanted. That's oh, what I we needed. That. What the? That's hell? what I needed. Oh, Let's go. Shit. Yes, this is good. This is nice. I will take that. That's a good pull. All right, so we uh, finished our sneak opening. We pulled the regulars, which is nice. Sam over here ended up picking Dino, so that's what we're going to be taking for today's locals. I had to put up the side deck just literally right now because I realized I had forgotten to put together a side deck, so we just did that right now. The event is going to start in what, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes? Yeah, it's something like that. Soon. It's going to start soon, and um, I guess I'll keep you guys updated as the event goes on.
All right, so we're walking into the store for a minute because I forgot my water in the car and I wanted to grab water, but the local started, right? My first round opponent never really showed up. So it turns out I get the round one by, which makes my life a lot easier, okay? I know it's kind of cheating, so if I end up topping, my bad. It is what it is that happens in Yu-Gi-Oh! But I do want to say that um, I kind of got to look around at what the room is playing. And uh, funny enough, as I get my water bottle, funny enough, I actually think we have a good chance today. Dino has a good, Dino's a good deck with Brandon. It's a good deck. I'll do a quick deck profile in a little bit so you guys can see it, what the actual build is looking like that we took to Locals today. But uh, I think the deck's going to be good. And then I guess I'll update you after round two because I don't really know what to do for round one. We're just walking around. Hey guys, Future Spanko here. I'm going to go through a quick deck profile for what I played today at the Sneak Peek event. If you guys want a more in-depth look, make sure to check out the deck profile. It's already on the channel. So we got three Oviraptor, three Baby, one Petite, two Arco, two Conductor, one Pank, one Rex, one Quatlas, and one Miscellaneous, three Dig, two Pill, of course. For the Albaz engine, we're running two Albaz, three Fusion, as well as three Super Poly. I guess Super Poly is technically not part of the Albaz engine, but I'm gonna count it as part of the Albaz engine because it's part of the Fusion engine, essentially. Now, I'm gonna be real with you. After this event, I was looking at it and I'm like, you know what? This deck might actually be more suited to go first because the combos in this deck are insane. But going second, this deck is still very, very powerful. Then for the hand traps, of course, we're playing three Ash Blossom, the most important one, three Gamma, as well as Driver. This is just insane. So good in today's format. Playing Triple Imperm, of course, to round it off. So we're playing nine hand traps altogether. Then for the last three cards, we're playing 41 total one Harpy's Feather Duster, one Foolish Burial, as well as one Called by the Grave. For the extra deck here, we played two Mirror Jade, two Lubelion, two Albion, and one Titanoclad. That's it for the Fusion Monster Ratios. I think this is perfect. I actually was playing one of the Sprint, I think the name is, but I actually decided to cut it. Super Poly Targets, we're playing one Draco Stapilia, one Starving Venom, as well as one Mud Dragon. These three are all you need. I actually ended up cutting the Sprint for the Starving Venom. Then for the Link Monsters, we're playing one Verte, one Link Karibo, and one Pentastag. This is all you need. Most of the time, you're going to be locked out of it if you end up drawing into your branded fusion but pentastag does help you otk link karibo is important in the combo and this of course if you can't get your branded fusion off this is what you gets into it and for the last two cards we're playing one evolzar dolka and one logia logia i didn't make once today dolka i made a couple times and this card's actually insane when it comes up logia just unfortunately never came up but dolka is just insanely powerful okay future future spanko here i'm editing this video which was already in the future but now we're more in the future but essentially uh if you guys didn't see verte just got banned on the most recent ban list which means that you got to cut this out perfectly fine this deck is still 100 percent playable but you just have to cut the verte and you can play anything else you can play the sprint like i was mentioning you can play an omega there's a lot of other options but uh yeah you just have to cut the verte the deck is still perfectly fine it's perfectly playable uh, it's still very powerful for the side deck here i'll be honest with you guys if you guys build this deck don't play this side deck this side deck is kind of really bad my locals has some like really weird things so i decided to play four kaijus literally there's this one player at my local shout out chair i know he wanted me to give him a shout out he plays like fossil dyna decks with inspector border and dragoon and just stun decks and uh sometimes it's hard to out dragoon and stuff so you really need these don't play these though if you're going to a real event because you're not going to be running into that so yeah don't play these this was for cross out mostly because we are playing three cross out in the side deck as well funny enough at my locals no one was playing branded despia and this was only in the side deck for branded despia because like you always want to hit the fusion with this never ended up playing it i don't think anyone was actually playing it today which is so weird because the last locals everyone was playing it but yeah you get unlucky i guess sometimes so this never actually came in today and then we're playing three cosmic cyclone one ray boot as well as three d barrier this was for back row matchups we never ended up seeing them but cosmic cyclone actually did come up with the red boot reboot against the sword soul player because if you hit the blackout it's very important so i do like these and then these of course against sword soul is insanely powerful but again these are really good into a lot of things this format so you really want to be playing these this side deck i think these cards should stay these cards definitely don't play these i put together the side deck last minute because uh as you guys saw sam picked the deck for us so i put these in last minute but these for sure these swap out all right so i'm here at the back of the store people are playing right now like it's kind of busy so i just wanted to go to the back and stay away from everyone but essentially what happened was game one like i said or round one i should say we ended up getting the buy you guys heard about that already but round two we ended up playing in sword soul let me step outside by the way it's a beautiful day the sun is shining. I can't. Never mind. I'm going back inside. It's, it's, it's my. I can't open my eyes. So, anyways, round two, I ended up playing against Sword Soul, and I didn't get any footage. Sadly, I uh, was doing another feature match, so I didn't get any footage of, of my match, and that actually went into three. So it was a really good match. Game one, actually, funny enough, he just had too much. I couldn't beat it. Game two, I had too much. He couldn't beat it. So then game three comes around, and we start going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But I made a really bad misplay that cost me the match. So what ended up happening, and I'll be honest with you, this is completely my fault. I was doing my combo, I was doing whatever normally, and we were going second, right? And I go Arcosaur to pop the baby whatever whatever and i literally have game i literally have game but i forget to search the double evolution pill now arcosaur is actually mandatory so i had to have searched it really 
because I activated the effect of pop. But for some reason, I thought it was in my hand. Like I thought like I had researched it, but I didn't. So then I make my whole board and I end on a conductor plus a dolka plus a verte which got negated, which is fine. But I should have had the pill for the second conductor because I would have made the second conductor before I activated the verte, right? Turns out I'm like, oh my God, I forgot to search my pill. So and what ended up happening was I was like, okay, I can't take it back now. We're already too far into the game. It was irreparable game state, whatever, whatever. And I end up just entering battle phase and we go for damage and he has 3,200 life points. 3,200. Conductor is 3,500, bro literally would have won that match so yeah i kind of threw the match myself that was completely my fault scrub monkey see completely my fault so yeah so so round two i kind of threw that that's completely my fault not the deck the deck's amazing though round three i ended up playing against pendulum and uh that was pretty easy actually pendulum was a very free matchup i literally i think i gambled at one point and then i just branded fusion super poly is just too strong this is why you play super poly in the main deck by the way super poly is too too strong and then round four i ended up playing against pendulum again but it was one of my good friends and he was like yo honestly i don't want to play right now so we ended up playing for fun anyways and uh i ended up winning but then he told me even if i lost he would have given it to me but i ended up winning anyways maybe he wasn't playing to the best that he could have because he was just playing around having fun we're x1 which means we topped the locals which means we topped the sneak peek i don't know exactly what the prizing is going to be but i mean we did well dino's doing well guys and you picked this deck well kind of you guys picked this deck sam picked this deck but i've been having a lot of fun with it i've been enjoying this deck i'm having so much fun building different decks and taking them to locals so i might keep doing that if you guys are enjoying that let me know in the comment section down below maybe i'll take a new deck to locals every single week i'm gonna spend a lot of money on Yu-Gi-Oh doing that but so yeah now we're just gonna hang out with the guys maybe do a couple more videos i actually didn't get a single feature match today because there was a lot of interesting decks in today's locals so i was like man like i don't want to show you guys the same exact decks over and over again so i actually did some really fun feature matches and i think you guys are going to enjoy it what i'm going to do is maybe Maybe get one feature match with me play something else just some, have some fun and then once standings get announced i'll show you guys the standings and we'll go from there okay so i just parked at home and it just occurred to me that i completely forgot to take a picture or a video of the standings but i actually ended up coming third place okay but it's fine i'm okay with that i'm not mad dino performed really well for me today i'm just a little bit sad that the one like round i lost was because i completely misplayed like it was completely my fault but uh, i'm liking this deck a lot i'm having so much fun with this deck and i think you guys should definitely try it out because i really love dino if you guys like dino this is the way that i think you guys should play dino because it's a lot of fun but it's also very very competitive but if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate you guys thank you for watching all these vlogs i've been having so much fun doing these vlogs i've been having so much fun taking my my decks to locals and showing you guys how they go and the duel and the feature matches i've been having so much fun so thank you guys all for supporting me it means a lot to me and i don't know man it's a great day i'm in a really good mood uh we pulled the regulus we had we had success at locals with dino which i haven't played in so long i've just been loving it so i just really hope that you guys are having as great of a day and just as i am today and if you're not just remember that there's always these kind of beautiful days to look forward to and they're going to happen so just don't lose hope i love you guys all thank you guys all for being here with that spanko sign and out peace